Okay, next one I see is Kevin. He says, I'm usually late when entering the setting buying edge. When I got in, the Ichimoku goes flat after a few minutes. Any tips, guys? Okay. Um, so for that, I... So I think the... I think the challenge for you is to, to, um, to, how do you say, to be able to trade on the pushback or on the lower price when you're buying. Yeah, after a few minutes, if Ichimoku lines go flat, then um, the market may be worse. But just because Ichimoku lines go flat, don't exit. Don't exit. If you see the retracing market in the lower time frames, that's when you exit. I posted my exit timing video yesterday, so you can watch that and have kind of an idea of uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, before I was always uh, wanting to buy in the pushback and sell at the top. Buy on the low, sell at the top, I was always kind of dreaming to trade like that. But now I don't. I don't. Even if the market is near the resistance, I buy. If I get the confirmations, I buy because I expect the market breaks the resistance. And simply when it doesn't, I simply exit with a small loss and look for the next chance because um, you see that you see the pushbacks in the market for example on the daily time frame you see these pushbacks so you might think if you buy here then you could have making lots of profits or if you can buy here on this uh, doji break then you could have been making such a huge profit so because of think because of this thinking you may think that you have to buy at the pushback or sell at the top like this. But uh, I think the, the, the difficulty here is you see the past chart. So now the market is bullish. It's going up. It renews higher and higher. So do you sell here? If you don't see the selling confirmations, then you can't sell. But rather, I prefer to go with the flow. If it's bullish, I follow. Especially in this case, Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen up, Chikou Smart above candle, so it's bullish, I simply follow. It's like, it's like, uh, let's see, uh, maybe in the past, it may look like this, or here. Yeah, so the market goes up and so let's see, maybe here, you see the market was at the top. Let's see, this is, this is also talking about talking based on the previous chart, past chart. But there is a slight breakout. So, but here I used to think that, okay, this might be double top and the market may reverse. So I used to sell. I used to look for the sell so that I can get all the pips down to the previous support. I was expecting to capture down like this more than a uh, thousand pips or so, but um, it wasn't really realistic. If the market goes up, especially in this now, uh, if you know about my strategy, then you know that this is bullish because Kumo's up, Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen is also up, and Chikou Span above candles. So I don't sell, but rather I buy and expect the market breaks the resistance, which happens in this case, like this way. And same is happening right now. Same is true. This is bullish, so I buy. I never sell. Yeah, this is yeah a bit off topic from your question, but um, I just wanted to share my idea, so... <clears throat> Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And 
the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And, but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market starts to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.